Hey everyone, I'm Ashley and I'm here today to tell you a little bit about Blackboard Collaborate. First of all, I just wanted to say on behalf of the whole Phoenix TS team, we are very excited that you are considering taking one of our online training courses via Blackboard Collaborate. We've all had those mornings where you wake up and you just don't feel like putting on pants. It happens, we know. But you know what? Blackboard Collaborate is actually the perfect solution to that problem. You can get the training you need in order to qualify for a new job, CE credits, or promotion, all while staying in bed. It's a perfect solution. We are really excited about all the new online training courses we can now offer through Blackboard Collaborate because we finally have the opportunity to allow students who don't live so close to our center to train with us without having to worry about a long commute. Just log on to Blackboard Collaborate and you can still get the same Phoenix TS training experience. Now, we don't want you to register for an online course before you understand the platform fully. So stay tuned and we will walk you through a quick demo and you will learn everything you need in order to get started on Blackboard Collaborate. Welcome to the Blackboard Collaborate demo by Phoenix TS. In this demo, we will show you everything you need to get started using Blackboard Collaborate, including the system requirements, download, and key features. Before you download Blackboard Collaborate, make sure that your computer is equipped with the following. A Windows, Mac, OS X, or Linux operating system, the most recent version of Java, 256 megabytes of RAM, 20 megabytes free disk space, and a reliable internet connection. If you have trouble operating your Blackboard Collaborate, check each of these requirements because most likely one of them will be the source of the issue. After you enroll in an online course, you will receive an email like this. Click the link that says join Blackboard session and your file will automatically download. You can now open your meeting collab file from earlier. This may take a while the first time, so be patient with them. Now Blackboard Collaborate opens and you're in the classroom. When you're in the Blackboard Collaborate classroom, there are a few key features that we'll want to go over. The first is the audio and video section. Here you can control your volume, as well as those of the moderator and other classmates. You can also turn on and off your microphone, as well as your video, all in the audio and video panel. The next section is the participant section. Here you will be able to see the moderator, yourself, and any other students that are in the main room of the Blackboard Collaborate classroom. Underneath that is your chat functionality. Here you can type messages and convey them to other members of the classroom or to the moderators. The main portion of Blackboard Collaborate, though, is the whiteboard feature. Here the instructor can load content such as PowerPoints or pictures or other videos associated with the class and share them with all classmates. Students can also see, edit, and download them for their own use. They can also use the whiteboard in order to type messages and interact with any of the slides. Now that's all for Blackboard Collaborate and thank you for watching our demo. If you have any questions regarding how to install or use your Blackboard Collaborate platform, Ask us at 240-667-7757 or at promo at phoenixts.com. Thank you again and good luck with your online training.